Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I'm talking about Billions, the final episode of the season, episode 12, The Conversation. In this episode, things start to get, things start to get a little dark because Chuck is pissed off at Bobby and his wife because he went to go see his wife, Wendy, and she, and she, and he saw her talking to Bobby, laughing it up, sharing a cigarette, and, and they, and she thought that he thought that they were having an affair. So he got pissed off, and he went to see a dominatrix to pretty much handle his frustrations, but he couldn't go through with it. So now he goes back home defeated. Wendy's back home already. She's taking a shower, and then the little devil talks in his ear and says, "Look at her computer. Look at her laptop. It's right there. Just look at it." Look at it, look at it, and then you can find out what they were talking about. And when he does that, he hits the jackpot. He see Bobby pretty much make a confession to, to Wendy, tell him about all the stuff that he did, because he trusts her. And, and she's a psychiatrist. So everything he tells her is it's between them. I mean, he was hoping. But Chuck uses information to try to take down Bobby. And then Bobby finds out about this. He's freaking out. He thinks he got to leave the country. He's making all these freaking plans. Everything's going to DEFCON 4 or, or whatever. Because he, if, cause at first, Bobby and Wags were trying to get um, a, trying to hit, get a major client back for what happened last episode with the loss of all that money. So he, he get a client, he, he get a, a big client, others will come too. So they finally get one, and then this happens. And so Bobby's freaking out. He's pissed off. He's mad at Wendy because he she, he thinks that she leaked it. But he tells her, if I'm going to go down, chick, you're going down too. I have all this dirt on you too. He shows her all these pictures about her and the dominatrix stuff and, the, and the, her getting naked in the, in the, with, with him. And she got, he got all these things. And she, so he's freaking out. She's pissed off. She's pissed off at her husband. He pretty much tells him, you got, you got to get out of here. And you used me. And that hurt my feelings. And I'm pissed off at you. You got to go. So now, both Chuck and Wendy, pretty much, not Wendy, Chuck and Bobby lost Wendy. Yeah. All because of Chuck. Because if Chuck didn't do this, Bobby wouldn't act the way he did. And now Wendy's stuck in the window, stuck in the middle of this. What? I was loyal. I'm your friend. Or oh, whatever. And so, so even though Bobby, I mean, even though Chuck thought he um it was gonna was gonna use this, he, he really couldn't use the information that he had. So he let the case go again. So this time, Bobby actually won again, really. But for his last little bit of revenge, he let he he, he let a leak that that um Bobby has a bug. And plan it in his in, in building. So they pretty much tore the whole place apart just to find it. But, but it wasn't really there. Which was messed up. Because he thought, this is, this, is, this is his last chance to get his little bit of revenge. What made this show the most interesting of all is when Bobby and Chuck were talking to one another. After Bobby pretty much ripped this whole place apart, Chuck, Chuck comes strolling in like he knew what like he knew, he knew was going to happen. And they were and they were just talking to one another, and to watch these two like alpha male lions just attacking one another, it was just it gets, it always get me always get me pumped up. And it's always interesting and fascinating to watch too, because the, the, because they hate each other with a passion, and you can tell they want to kill each other, but they but the, but they hold it back with restraint at the same time too. And Bobby wants to like just cut loose on them, but he can't at the same time. And Chuck wants to cut loose on him, but he can't too. Really too much, so they just like this. Verbally, verbally sparring with one another is very interesting and fun to watch. And every time I watch it, it just gets me like, yeah. And then with Wendy, after she got the new car and and that, and that new rage she got from Bobby, now she's off in the wind. Is she is she going to come back? I don't know. Is she going to work for Bobby again? Because he did kind of hurt her feelings. And and is that bridge burnt completely, or is it still? Holding strong. I don't know. Because I always thought that Bobby and Wendy had a very interesting relationship. I don't know if they slept together or not. 
But the way they talk to one another, the way they act around one another, you can feel the chemistry they have between one another. And Chuck sees it, and Laura sees it too. That's why Laura doesn't really trust her. But she she handles it a whole lot better than Chuck does. Because like I said before last episode, if Chuck loses Wendy, oh, it's going to be on. Because Wendy kind of holds him back. It kind of keeps him in check. So if Wendy's gone, being, being like his moral compass, he'll, he'll do anything. I mean, probably anything. He don't know. He does not care. He will use anybody to get what he wants, go by any means necessary to get, to get what he wants, because he, feels, because he feels as though he's the good guy, they're the bad guys, and they have to go down. But this something else happened in this episode that I, was, I did not see coming. Brian, who works for Chuck, pretty much as his like, right-hand man, got offered a job from Bobby. Because Bobby knows where he comes from. Bobby knows he had to work hard to get to where he was at. And he knows that... And, and, and Bobby and, and, and Brian has been feeling a little messed up how Chuck has been handling the case. How he, how he used him to get what he wants. And how sometimes Chuck does things that kind of a little bit under, underhanded to, to, get the, to, get the, um, to get the win that he wants to get. So... Will Brian work for Bobby? I don't know. Because he didn't say no. Because he could have just said, screw you, and been out. But nope. He did walk away. But the possibility of him working for working for Bobby is still out there. Will he do it? Beats me. But this episode made me look forward to the next, to the next season. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. I enjoyed this whole season. It's a whole, it was a whole lot of fun. Very intense at times. Ah, oh, good show. If you haven't watched The Billions, so check it out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy it just as much as I did. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you got any thoughts or opinions or theories about where the show is going to go or and what you thought about this episode right here. Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out, a peoples.